welcome to Winslow Academy. In this lecture we will look at machine learning and how we can measure accuracy by using accuracy matrix. So in the last lecture, which were part 7 in this tutorial guide of basic machine learning in Python, we looked at how we could use fivefold cross-validation to split up our training set and hide some of the values in order to use these as test values to measure how accurate our algorithm were. If you are interested in looking at or learning how to use this fivefold cross-validation method, then please go to the channel and find part 7 of this tutorial and then you can rewatch it all. But now let's continue with the accuracy matrix. So what is accuracy in machine learning? So when talking about accuracy, we usually mean classification accuracy, which is our ability to make correct predictions. So our overall goal when predicting something and using machine learning algorithms to do so is to have as accurate a result as possible. So the accuracy can be measured by saying the number of correct predictions divided by the total number of predictions made. And the way that we are going to measure this is by using two of the most famous uh, matrix of doing so, the mean absolute error and the root mean squared error. So both of these are negatively or oriented scores, meaning that the closer you get to zero, the more accurate your algorithm is. So basically we want in the ultimate scenario to hit a score of zero because then our algorithm is capable of predicting exactly the same uh, score that real users have given and then we are yeah well we most likely have one of the best algorithms uh, trained in the world if we can do so for all examples so that is of course a dream scenario but that is what we are aiming for and now we will learn how we can calculate these scores based on some uh, numbers that we have so if we start by the mean absolute error we have the formula right here and as you see we will take the sum of all our ratings and predictions minus them into absolute error sets and then we will sum them together and divide by the overall number of ratings uh, or occurrences so if we take the yj right here then that is for the first uh, value it is 4 minus 3 then we take the next value which is 3 minus 2 and so on. And as you see right here, this is illustrated in a more uh, calculation uh, friendly way. Uh, we take 4 minus 3, calculate the value of that, plus 3 minus 2, calculate the result of that, and add it together with 4 minus 4.5. And then we take the summation of all these and divide it by 3 because we have 3 set uh, values right here. And the end result of this is. Uh, MAE score of 0 0.5, meaning that our algorithm is has a mean uh, absolute error of 0 0.5, telling us that we have a mean of around 0 0.5 of the real values in overall. But again, this is only uh, a data set of three items, so this is not uh, saying that much about our algorithm, but this is the way that we are going to calculate this, and this can be used on a data set where you have ten of thousand or hundred thousand results and then you really start to see some uh, information from this MAE and you can actually use it to something because then when you start to manipulate pra the parameters of your machine learning algorithm then you can see whether this score goes up meaning that you get a worse result or it goes down meaning that you are doing something right and the algorithm is actually getting better at uh, predicting these values. The other uh, score is the root mean squared error which penalizes a lot more on the larger errors so if we take the exact same values right here and then we have the formula right here it is the same again where we take the yj here is 4 minus 3 which is the predicted value then we uh, take that value and then we sum these together as we see right here so 4 minus 3 uh, to the power of 2 plus 3 minus 2 to the power of 2 and so on and then again we divide with the overall uh, amount of numbers we have and take the square root of the entire result after we have divided and since we have the same values right here you see that we are getting a higher score meaning that this penalizes a lot more and this can tell us that we have some results 
for example these two that are uh, actually off by a whole rating value whereas this one is only off by 0 0.5 and this uh, in this uh, matrix it made us have this value because even though we were off by one in these two then because we have this one which were quite uh, more accurate then our score got a lot better but by using this one we can see that we ha have some uh, larger errors which are this one which gets penalized a lot right here so this is the two accuracy matrices that we are going to use and have been seeing throughout this course so now you know that when you see the MAE score or root mean square error score you know what it means and now you know that you can use these two to get an idea of how accurate your algorithm is and then you can start to manipulate with different parameters in order to get a better result or even improve your data set. I hope you liked the video. If you do so, please subscribe to the channel and then I will see you in the next lecture.